Hello traders, it's Pierre here, your trading coach from PAFX. In this video, I will show you why it's so important to always keep an eye on the market structure. And of course, we're going to take a look at the measures and what um, we should be looking for for the upcoming week. So uh, while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. And the DAX also same scenario as the FTSE. The good thing for uh, the DAX here is that it tested this uh, great support level that is still holding. We've got the first push higher, but that made also our another lower high. And um, yeah, it is still bearish, but for more downside, we need to break below this structure. If that happened, that will open the door toward these levels down here very interesting chart uh, put on the four hour draw your range and keep watching this range this is the range you want to play by the low sell the high and if we break this that will open all the way down here if that happened okay so in the video you just watched it the price was still up here at this level now <clears throat> Why was it so important that I said we need to see a break below this structure for more downside and that if the break happened, we should reach this level down here, which we've done already yeah, last week. So what we should be doing here, and as always, and I always show you uh, the weekly uh, charts uh, in my weekly overviews for those of you who follow me, uh, you see that always uh, I try to start from the weekly and uh, go down to lower time frame making a top down analysis. Um, everything just started on this chart after actually the break of this candle here, this weekly candle that broke this neckline. Yeah. And uh, we had um, a pattern which called head and shoulders. I think many of you know uh, the head and shoulders. And uh, yeah, that was the neckline of it and it got broken. So the reversal had started already up here. And uh, we've got the 200 uh, weekly moving average, uh, what, uh, which was acting as um, possible support and this previous structure support support and it was resistance back here. So after the break happened i published an idea about this and uh, it looks uh, like this when uh, the break below uh, the 200 moving averages happened i published an idea saying that we should be looking for retest and continuation now when we both broke the neckline the 200 moving average and looking left on this chart there was nothing to support it until we reached the 618 fibonacci and uh, the structure down here so what always is important in my opinion is the market structure and especially <clears throat> when you're working with weekly time frame or daily time frame those are major structures so to break such a structure or such a neckline like this which is a weekly low here <clears throat> that got broken by this candle and to then after that break uh, the 200 weekly moving average that been acting as a pretty good support in the past as you see we tested here we tested here twice and uh, now that we had the break there was of course uh, the main idea was to look for retest and continuation because the structure level here that was acting as support is now broken and looking left to this area here we had nothing to hold as structure support until we reach uh, these levels um, down here yeah and now we did reach those level with a very strong bearish engulfing candle on the weekly and 
once again if we look left the next structure that may give us some trouble could be these lows down here but the major market objective could also be the lows down here to test the lows of uh, this major range as well then <clears throat> We go down to the daily and when we were talking about this trade the market was down here and uh, we went down to the four hour before we go to that structure once again this was the previous low we had the bounce and the market was on the way down and the reason this was an important structure once again support support was resistance here and resistance here so another major structure area and the market was already making lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, and lower highs all the way down. And um, yeah, since this is a uh, acted as support in the past, as we see here, we should be looking to see if it gonna hold or not. Now, when I went down to the four hour time frame uh, during uh, the video I showed you, I was saying buy the low or sell the highs and if we breaks below then look for more downside yeah so what happened what happened was we got a very strong break below this previous structure so that means another lower low was created and it was time to look for retest and selling yeah so this could be your first retest and another sell which gave us another lower low and this market start going sideways here as you see but what most important here if this area here this high was not broken yeah we failed to make new highs we even failed to break above this uh, little high up here which was signaling that this market is still weak and is still uh, bearish as we had this try and another try that could not break higher and then we start getting once again lower lows and lower highs lower lows lower highs to push all the way back down to this previous support once again the market reached a, a structure support once again we should see this as a possible area for a bounce to the upside which actually we've got but we should always keep in mind that our major structure high is now up here and as far as this major high is not broken we should keep considering this market as a bearish market and this major high was not broken despite this move to the upside and i've been following this market with this trend line and when the break below the trend line all we had to do look for a retest and continuation yeah so what happened now is we broke this major structure low here and we have another lower low on this market so on the daily it looks something like this as you see here and once again the normal thing we should be doing here on this market right now is to to see if we're gonna get another retest to this broken structure the same that happened here and the same that happened here retest we should be looking to see if this market make a retest to this structure to look for another push low the reason is i'm looking for this once again the structure is broken we have still have lower lows and lower highs there is no uh, no reason to fight this trend it is to the downside and still no higher highs and higher lows being uh, make it so the main idea here to look for a continuation and the main and major target could be the lows down here now will that push all the way down with one move only no that's probably not what will happen but <clears throat> as far as you have your major high still not broken then you should be trying to keep following the main trend which is right now to the downside will we have some bounces to the upside and some consolidation before that absolutely that may happen we may be uh, find some support at this uh, bounce here as you see it was an area where the market did push 
pretty strong from this level even down here so maybe when the market if the market also reaches this level that you see some kind of bounce another correction and to then keep pushing lower yeah and uh, that is the main idea about how to trade market structure looking only at structure without any other uh, indicator or pivot points or something like that now in our trading room we use pivot point we use nfp levels we use uh, rsi fibonacci and many other th uh, things to add more confluence to our trade but if you want to keep it simple to uh, see the main trend you will always need to start with the structure yeah so i hope guys that this um, gave you some um, good insight about how to look and read and trade uh, the market structure and that it is helpful for you uh, so let's uh, start looking at uh, the majors and what we have for trade ideas for the next week a short break to announce to you that the uh, registration for the next course has started and right now I have an amazing offer for you guys and that is a Christmas offer $400 off which mean uh, you're gonna get this course for $499 instead of $899 um, including lifetime subscription to my trading room and you will learn all this if you go to my site you will uh, read more about it but it is all about reading how to read structure top-down analysis and price action support resistance supply and demand fibonacci trend lines rsi moving average pivot point trading how to build your own strategy how to build your own trading plan uh, how to uh, have a trading journal risk management trading psychology and mistakes and much much more so it is a uh, amazing one-time offer for three weeks only four hundred dollars off if you sign up right now you will be able to join our trading room directly from the first second you subscribe and you can be in our trading room um, as i said uh, a lifetime subscription and then when the time comes to start the course which is the 7th of january then you will join that class so if you're still thinking now is the time to take this amazing offer yeah so uh, welcome back uh, what we have uh, for the next week we will start always with the dixie we are on the weekly time frame once again we start from the higher time frame and go lower to see the bigger picture and then to follow what's going on so what we have on the weekly here and last week was a uh, bearish week for the dollar as you see and what we could also see that the uh, this market is losing some momentum now yeah we are not pushing making those push we had the strong push another strong push but then we as you see the momentum is fading in this market so it is a bit worrying for um, the dollar bulls which i am one of them <laughs> so uh, uh, what we have is also a bearish uh, divergence on the weekly as you see here we're still having uh, big issues at the 97 uh, area so um, since we're losing momentum we start going sideways and um, that is worrying we should be also considering possible reversal so on the daily we are now trading outside of this bullish channel as you see there was no strong really strong break yet but we are outside of the channel we had a market that failed to make new high here and the highs are getting lower and lower so everything is depending on this structure here to see if it's gonna get broken for a deeper correction so for our time frame you see it more clearly yeah this is the structure level that i've been talking about uh, this um, last four hour candle here could be a profit taking candle to close trade uh, be ahead of the weekend but once again guys uh, the highs are getting lower and lower and this is signaling that we may keep pushing and uh, making a, a deeper correction yeah uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour is also uh, broken as you see 
we had a break and close below both uh, candles here are below uh, the 200 moving average so this loss of momentum and another thing that the gold did actually break we're gonna take uh, a look at the gold later but as you see on the daily and weekly the gold uh, did a break above this previous major high so uh, this could signaling uh, that the gold is uh, probably the leader here and then that the dixie may follow so this is what i'm looking for next week that the dixie may um <clears throat> not follow to the upside dixie will do the opposite of gold so if gold broke to the upside and dixie did not make a break yet there is a possibility that we see a break in continuation to the downside uh, next trouble area for the dixie would be the monthly s1 and these previous structures here something like that would be more uh, as you see resistance 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 here support 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 so this area down here may give um, uh, a bit of a bounce here so um, that is what i'm looking for a possible continuation to the downside uh, for me to change that and start being bullish i want to see a break back above uh, this previous high here as you see so dollar need to break above this to make me start thinking that this fade out of momentum uh, is now over and there is a continuation to the upside until then it looks uh, pretty tired and uh, could um, move lower so if we go back to the gold as i showed you earlier what's very important on gold that we broke above the neckline uh, we know that most of the time gold is um, seasonally bullish in december and january so uh, we may have another uh, uh, december run uh, christmas run on gold prices so uh, technically we broke above previous high which is a major area so we should be looking for a continuation uh, for our time frame it looks something like this what we should be looking for is uh, a possible correction back down to monthly R1 here. Could be a possible area to look for for another bounce to the upside on uh, on gold. So this uh, 1242 should hold as support and uh, if that happened then there is a possibility for gold to keep pushing higher the next trouble area to the upside is up here 1260 and the 200 daily moving average on gold at that level but as you see the 1260 is an important uh, once again an important support and resistance level so that could be a market objective for next week um, oil uh, still inside this choppy range despite that um, OPEC um, meeting and that um, they had a cut of 1.2 uh, million barrels um, and um, we had a nice push uh, based on those news but um, yeah once again there is no break above previous highs the structure is still holding and uh, there is no break below the previous lows so we're still inside this range we should be fading this box by the low sell the high until a um, until um, a break happens yeah even uh, we we had a, a a cut in production and all that let's not forget that the stock market is struggling a lot and um, that is not helpful for oil prices so if the stock market to keep pushing lower even if they had a cut this uh, maybe not keep pushing higher this may keep pushing lower despite that because if the stock market um, is not doing well oil will not do well also so uh, same idea here look for break below if that happened keep selling a break above then that could mean a, another a push toward um, the 5860 uh, area up here yeah um, but do not forget the major trend is still to the downside on the daily yeah very strong push some kind of consolidation is possible and then maybe another push lower once again if the stock market 
do not start picking up steam to the upside oil will struggle a lot to 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 reverse here uh, euro is the pretty ugly chart uh, <laughs> reversing a little bit as you see and um, more and more we see that uh, once again the lows are getting higher and uh, this could be a possible uh, build up for a uh, breakout and a move higher yeah and uh, based on what we talked about about uh, in the gold and the dixie this would be the opposite of the dixie yeah and the four hour you see it clearly the lows are getting higher but we are struggling at this uh, important area here so um, what we want to happen for more upside is a break above the structure let me take this off we don't need it right now so what we want to see here if uh, the break happens above um, friday's r1 then there is a possibility that we see a deeper correction on uh, euro usd especially if gold keep pushing uh, uh, higher okay otherwise we are still in a sideways market last week uh, the whole week uh, the week started here and as you see uh, it was a ranging market so we have this range to work with um, until uh, this range is broken what we should be doing is fading the edges buying the lows selling the highs until we have a breakout I am uh, more and more seeing a possible uh, reversal here uh, this could be a uh, bottom established here and that we uh, maybe see a deeper correction to the upside that is what I'm looking for um, if the break happened to the upside sterling um, still <coughs> very troubled St still also in a range as you see this is uh, this here is last week so uh, we still have um, this range to work with um, the lower range is something like this and the bigger range is of course from the extreme high to the extreme low and uh, yeah it's gonna be a very important week next week uh, there will be a vote on vote on brexit um, that will happen and uh, you should really follow that that would be on tuesday uh, parliament uh, brexit vote very important all this will not matter all this before will not matter uh, it's gonna give you some short-term moves but uh, what really matter is this uh, void uh, on uh, Tuesday so my recommendation is actually to stay away from sterling pairs uh, still uh, very unpredictable but if you still want to know the uh, technicals about it then there is of course support here fade the edges and sell the highs until a breakout happen but once again guys this is more like gambling than trading for now especially with such a, a high impact event next week so i would say stay out of it there is other markets to trade <clears throat> usd jappy also uh, a bit of a sideways market as you see since we broke here we're still going sideways and um, it is coiling up so we had first a major range that then went down to a lower range so we had this and this right now another range inside the bigger range and um, yeah the boundaries are clear support around monthly s1 112.50 resistance around the 114 uh, still that is the major area to work with um, until we see a break and close below monthly s1 if that happened then there is more to the downside despite the drop in the stock market this is still holding pretty okay i would say but uh, look at this it is very choppy when you reach the middle areas and it gives you much better trades when you trade from uh, the higher or the lower edge down here it gave a nice push to the upside so be aware of that uh, this looks to me um, a bit heavy and there is a 
could be more downside to it at least to reach the uh, 111.80 once again um, i think especially if the stock market keep uh, pushing lower this um, will be more and more uh, possible that we move to the downside um, Aussie USD, Aussie and New Zealand was pretty weak uh, last week um, when we reached this um, area up here we've got the whole week was to the downside and now it is sitting back on support the main reason was um, that the stock market and uh, the situation uh, and the risk um, <coughs> that we have and uh, when the stock market and the uh, trembling um, a currency like Aussie New Zealand won't keep pushing higher they usually uh, weakened so what happening on uh, Aussie USD right now is we are sitting as a uh, nice support level possible support structure um, one could expect that this may hold at least short term uh, give a bounce higher but um, there is also a possibility uh, if the break happened that we make another push to the downside now what's not good here that uh, there is no much room until we reach next support this area here is a uh, pretty good support level as you see uh, down here it was a very strong support then it was tested many times as support and resistance yeah so this down here is the much better support to watch but um, yeah based on how last week looked if we go to that you see that we had a weekly bearish engulfing but still no close uh, below previous structure yeah so um, pretty interesting to see what will happen when we reach this level down here on the daily uh, this area is pretty pretty important uh, first off if we're gonna break the lows here or if we're gonna break these lows that will open the door for more downside but uh, yeah once again uh, we're still below the 200 daily moving average um, this usually um, a long-term bias uh, for a market and this long-term bias is still uh, bearish despite uh, that we broke a new high here okay <coughs> USD CAD pretty nice trade uh, idea last week um, was based on uh, both structure and some other element as uh, monthly R1 and we had a nice previous structure here it was support and uh, resistance here in the past so uh, when we've got uh, this hanging man formation and the next candle to break and close below it I send an idea that um, it is a good short level here and uh, we went for it and we've got a pretty nice uh, trade uh, about 100 uh, 108 pips um, so let's take this off and uh, go to our daily time frame in this time frame we still actually have higher highs and higher lows all the way and as far as uh, this structure is still holding then there is still a possibility for more upside and one could see this only as a correction but do not forget that um, we had a pretty strong um, CAD um, release about employment so if we go back to that you see that uh, 94k and 5.6 unemployment which is uh, amazing numbers uh, against uh, pretty low uh, numbers for NFP for the, the dollar and after such a very strong move uh, lots of profit taking happening here so what i'm looking for here if uh, usd cad failed to break back above this structure here if that f didn't happen that we break uh, above then i think there is a possibility for more downside anyway and uh, even up here this structure here could be a possible level uh, to look for for a possible bounce down now what may need what may need to happen to help cat more uh, that would be uh, higher oil prices so you need to keep an eye on that 
and as you see um, we still have uh, the 200 moving average acting as a good support and the trend line so one could also say that okay this was a higher high a correction and continuation but do not forget that before this higher high we actually broke below this structure here so we had a lower low here before uh, this break happened as well uh, so pretty interesting chart um, I would say this up here is the last line of defense and this uh, need to act as uh, res um, resistance I mean that um, also got broken then of course this market will keep pushing higher since we have higher highs and higher lows all the way now <clears throat> The candle on Friday was interesting. We still uh, have no close above previous structure. That's why I'm saying there is a possibility that we make another push lower, maybe to test once again the monthly pivot point. Um, USD chief, we go to the daily, we see that we had a nice push below structure retest and last week was the continuation we were not able to break back above these highs we tested so many times and it didn't happen so um, on the four hour time frame we had this 200 moving average acting also as a nice dynamic resistance so as you see many tests no break above and we were talking about this in the room uh, look for if we break above to uh, and hold for another push higher or a retest in continuation so the retest in continuation is what we got so far and um, yeah if we look at it like this this looks like a flag here and now we had this consolidation period that is also got broken and in my opinion this market should keep pushing back down to at least this level down here yeah this is the first trouble area and uh, if this got broken that will open the door all the way down here to this structure um, so pretty interesting to uh, keep following this market I think after uh, this failure here there is uh, more uh, downside to it especially if gold keep pushing higher so the market objective could be as i said to at least reach these lows down here and the 200 daily moving average um, as a possible level of trouble new zealand usd <coughs> still higher highs and higher lows last week we tested the 200 moving average so when where it is testing right now is a support level and um, yeah the question is uh, are we still uh, are we gonna hold below this uh, broken trend line now uh, with some kind of head and shoulder scenario and keep pushing lower or if this gonna be a support and continuation to the upside in my opinion if the stocks keep doing as they done last week and uh, if that happened then there is a possibility that this break to the downside and then another push lower so what i'm looking for here if this break happened below previous structure lows here then there is a possibility for a continuation toward uh, this first trouble level this is the major low that need to hold um, if this market to keep uh, moving higher because in my opinion if this major low got broken then there is a longer term push to the downside on this market so as a first uh, trade idea this could be the idea if the break happened look for another push toward monthly pivot point and the 200 moving average on the on the four hour for this market and uh, yeah the last pair is uh, new zealand cat as you see here the New Zealand CAD also reached a pretty interesting level uh, it was a uh, major resistance in the past and uh, here we have uh, the retest of that area for the first time in a while so um, two inverted uh, hammers and uh, a bearish engulfing on uh, Friday 
and that um, also broke the inner trend line so uh, there is a possibility that we see a continuation here so let's look for a possible retest maybe to this neckline up here and if we're gonna get another push down i think this market have i know it was extended on the daily as you see uh, rsi at the extremes we do have a bearish engulfing here as you see here bearish engulfing so there is a possibility for a push uh, lower or a deeper correction yeah this market could actually uh, move all the way down here without uh, invalidating the trade uh, for this uh, the trend sorry for this trend to get invalid we need to have a break below this structure if that happened then uh, we may change the bias to a bearish but it could also uh, as i said uh, correct all the way down here without a break below the structure and still considered bullish uh, bullish uh, for more upside so uh, what i'm looking for is a possible deeper correction uh, at least okay so that was the last forex market for today um, uh, and uh, let's take a look at um, some stock markets we start with the dow um as you see on the weekly guys uh, the last three weeks was down up down again uh, so there was no break above previous high still the lows are holding and uh, this is the range the new range we have right now for this market yeah this box here so what will happen uh, next week yeah the question is are we going to break below previous structure and that if that happened that will open uh, the way for a scary move uh, to the downside here especially if we have a weekly close below this low i think there is um, a possibility to start pushing uh, much much lower yeah that will take a little bit of a while but yeah see this down here as support as first uh, before the break I think uh, this may give us uh, another bounce so uh, if this range to keep holding um, this is the low to buy yeah but if the break happen then that will open the door for more downside uh, for the FTSE we have on the weekly as you see here um, we broke previous structure previous structure here on weekly time frame and i think this market objective is to test the extreme lows maybe a little bit below that as well so since we broke this structure now i'm looking for a continuation there is no reason to look for something else we had a break we had a retest and another move lower the question is are we going uh, to get another retest to this structure before another push lower uh, i'm expecting possible sideways on the stock market for next week so it may be get choppy based on this uh, very strong push to the downside usually when that happened you get some sideways as we have here yeah you have a strong push then you go sideways to then have another strong push then you go sideways a strong push sideways and it happens all the time a strong push here you got sideways before the next leg so expect also possible sideways uh, here but uh, the major structure i am be watching is of course this broken area here if we're gonna get another retest to that level so on the four hour it looks something like this yeah to go back to this um, structure here and maybe another push lower and uh, for the uh, DAX we talked already about this in the start of this video so uh, the same idea here look for a uh, retest of this structure uh, if we're gonna get a retest to this level to see if we have any bearish evidence for another push to the downside okay guys that's it for uh, this week um, do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe see you next week bye bye I love you.